So I have a lot of um, people been asking me to do a little bit longer format video on how these separate entrants are built. So I'll try my best to keep it short uh, and get, it, get you as much information as possible because I don't want it to be a long drawn out video. I want to talk about the system that we're using here. And I mentioned in previous videos, there are two different systems you can use when you're doing a separate entrance here in Canada. I'm talking specifically to Canada. I don't know what it's like in the United States and other countries, but we're talking about Canada, right? We can do a system where we underpin the foundation of the existing home in order to provide frost protection. And what frost protection means is four foot below the, the surface of the, the ground, right, is not likely for frost to penetrate that deep, okay? So that layer. So in order to avoid doing underpinning, which underpinning is expensive, I need a special company who specializes in underpinning to do underpinning, right? It's a dangerous job, right? Engineers come up with the styrofoam system. It's been around for a long time, but now it's getting popular. Everyone is doing the styrofoam system. But the problem is I've been driving around. Sometimes I see guys doing separate entrances and they're using the wrong type of styrofoam, right? They just go into Home Depot and these big box stores and they're picking up the regular insulation styrofoam that you use to insulate the out exterior of your home or the regular one that you do like a, under, uh, a slab under your floor. That's wrong, right? You need a uh, special styrofoam. Um, I think it is like about 50 millimeters and it has to be double, right? And also it has to be a minimum of 30 PSI, 30 pounds per square inch. So if you look at this product here, it is really dense, right? It's really hard because a lot of weight of concrete that's gonna be sitting on this. And you don't wanna use something that it can compress and eventually crack your foundation structure. So you wanna use this. And also, if you look, we have the we have a half inch steel rebar inside of the the walls here this one is a little bit easy for you to see because the height is not it's not a deep entrance that's why i choose to do it on this particular job right we have the rebar here and we have the rebar cage on the inside the rebar is for the to increase the strength of the concrete so that the hurt doesn't push against the foundation wall and crack your walls over time. So if you have anyone that's doing a separate entrance, you have to make sure, especially, and I want you to zoom in my mind when I'm saying this, especially if someone tells you, you don't need a building permit, that's a major red flag. Because I have seen people charging less for jobs without a build, building permit. What that's telling me is not using a building permit, it means you're doing a mediocre job. You're not using the right material. And the jobs that I see when I drive around um, the GTA, those one does not have a building permit because the inspector would never pass one of these other insulation product. What I'll do, I'll put an image of the insulation right up here that you should avoid. If you see this with your separate entrance, it's wrong. Get someone to inspect it and make sure that your contractor is doing the right thing. And I don't think that no reputable contractor would do a project like this without a building permit. I don't know the reason why people would suggest that and even why a homeowner would accept something like that because you're talking about your home here, right? We're not talking, and homes in Canada, they're millions of dollars. There's no home, especially in Ontario, that is less than a million dollars. Most houses in the GTA, especially, is about a million dollars. So this is, your homes are expensive, so why take the chance um, and do something illegal when you're putting your entire life they were at risk? Most homeowners here in Canada, their retirement is tied up in their home, so protect your investment.